to go in cycles. Oh, nice. That was good. <sighs> what a day. Um, just come back from the beach after the, the finals of uh, the Pozo World Cup here. 2024. I had my heat yesterday. Um, I didn't get to film anything yesterday, sort of live as it were. Um, it was a bit of a rush around. Basically thought it was going to be slalom X yesterday. Um, well, that seemed to be the word on the street. And then sort of in the morning, sort of around nine o'clock, they announced that they were going to be starting the men. So got up, went, quickly rigged my stuff. And um, yeah, I had my heat, which was against Lauren. Um, obviously, I know quite well. Spent some time with him here in Tenerife. Um, also, Anthony Ruiz and Lennart Norbauer, who's uh, obviously a very, very good freestyler. Um, but yeah, still felt like I could do all right in that heat if, if things went my way. So yeah, thoughts on my heat. Uh, I had to come in um, just before it started because um, I just saw that my mask wasn't in right. So I actually missed the first maybe minute or two of my heat, which wasn't ideal, but um, I was still feeling pretty calm and 16 minute heat. So I still had 40 minutes to, to you know, a good amount of time to do my stuff out there. Conditions wise, well, it was pretty flat, I would say, and pretty sort of peaky waves. So sort of in a lot of the times in Poza, you roughly know where you're gonna to start to wave ride, but in that heat, it felt like it was, you know, a little bit of luck of where the waves were gonna pop up. They didn't seem to have that consistency that sometimes you get. So it was pretty hard and speaking to the guys, they found it pretty hard as well to wave ride um, and to find the jumps as well. But um, I think I got a, an all right stalled forward um, and then a normal back loop and then a one handed back loop, which I landed all the way. But um, I later kind of found out or figured out that the judges, I don't think saw it, which is slightly frustrating. Um, and yeah, I think a one-handed back loop landed all the way, fairly clean. Um, should score some good points and they gave me, a, I think it was a three. Um, and I, I know it wasn't obviously a big one, but uh, for example, another back loop in the heat from some of the other guys, which gets like a four, um, you know, a small back loop. Um, and then you start to see that it doesn't quite add up. So slightly annoyed at that. Um, and that might have made a difference in going through. Uh, but at the end of the day, I still didn't have like a, another solid sort of wave score to back up my first one, which was, um, I think I got a fairly good score, like a four something for a wave for those conditions, which is all right. Um, you know, try to, try to get some sort of rail game and some powerful riding in, which is kind of what I was seeking out to do. Um, but yeah, it was just hard to do any of like the proper stuff that I was trying to do in the in the sort of training coming up to it. So yeah, I kind of, kind of came away with mixed feelings about that one. Um, but anyway, I think we should be on tomorrow for a double elimination. Hopefully, I get a nice draw um, and I can make it through a heat. That would be really nice. Obviously, Brazilian people like Brazilian went out in the single, which means. You never know, you could hit him first heat of the double, which is um, yeah, pretty unprecedented, I'd say. Uh, but yeah, in terms of the event, we've just been watching on the beach um, some pretty big upsets today, but really good to see. Also different people on the top. Marina obviously came away and, and won the event, which is really cool to see. Um, I think a lot, well, I think I, I called it as well that he would be in the top three. Um, and today he seemed like he was clearly on top. Um, obviously, Philip did pretty well, did that triple attempt, which was just mental to see. But he didn't quite seem as uh, on form as Marino was. And yeah, hats off to him, he, he, he killed it. Um, also, uh, Aleman, Julian Salmon, was, it was so cool to see someone who, um, you know, wasn't doing doubles get to the final and do so well. Um, I think it just goes to show that, you know, with a good wave ride in style, you know, big sort of, sort of solid, big solid jumps that you don't need to, um, you don't need to do doubles these days, which is 
which is pretty incredible because the vibe around here is if you don't have a double, you're, you're not going to do it well at all. So um, I love to see that. Also Dieter as well, not doing doubles, getting to the losers final. So overall, really cool to see it being mixed up a little bit today. Um, and yeah, I think what was the last thing? I mean, yeah, the, the new format is, is another thing that's kind of new this year. I think people got mixed opinions on it. Um, I think the, the four-man heats, I think, in theory, is really good. Um, I think it's fairer. I think the judges are finding it really difficult. Um, chatting to a couple of them, it is more complicated than the, the usual way they do it because they have to keep their eyes on three people and not... Um, no, sorry, they have to keep their eyes on four people, not two people. And, uh, yeah, what else? In terms of the the kind of pro single, I think they're calling it, I think you can get away with doing a single and a double just because it's... I mean, they've done it for years and they've, they've been able to do it because it's so windy and you, you've got the time to do it here. So, at the start, I thought maybe it could be quite a good idea, but now I'm thinking about it more and more. I'm, I'm not so convinced on it. I mean, people like Brasinho, who, you know, maybe just have an off heat in the single, there's no way he can come back anywhere near the top three anymore, so or the top ten even. So um, it sucks for those guys. It's a little bit fairer than obviously just a single, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. But it would be good to hear your thoughts about it, um, and yeah, hopefully provided you a little bit of info, and uh, I'll keep you updated for the double that I'll be in tomorrow. But obviously, with the new format, the double elimination, you can only go. Like the best you could theoretically do is like a up to the tenth position, I think. So, um, yeah, but uh, excited to, you know, see if I can push myself a little bit more because the single was, um, yeah, I've had mixed feelings about that one. Could have done a bit better, maybe could have advanced. I don't know, but um, let's see.